Archaeology is a very cool job because you can find some pretty crazy ancient things, such as portals to another dimension. So, in this video, we'll go through some pretty crazy discoveries that'll blow your mind. Let's get started. Number 1. Amaru Muru Amaru Muru, better known as Aramu Muru, is definitely one of the most intriguing destinations in the world. It's located near Lake Titicaca in Peru, South America, and is known to resemble a massive doorway. Many believe the strange structure is a portal to another dimension or has some spiritual significance, as it was built by people who had access to other realms. Here. And it was all part of the celebration, so they believed that the lights that you see at night is all part of the celebrations. Local lore about this enigmatic doorway suggests that a priest once tried to flee from Spanish conquistadors as he had a rare Inca artifact known as the Golden Sun Disc. Like and subscribe right now and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. The priest was able to travel to another world through this portal and was never seen again, leaving nothing behind but giving his name to the mysterious doorway, Amaru Muru. When it comes to physical characteristics, the portal is approximately 23 feet square and about 6.5 feet tall from the surface, making it quite massive and hard to miss. Number 2. Stonehenge Stonehenge, located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, is one of the world's most iconic and enigmatic prehistoric monuments. It was built over 5,000 years ago, and since then, its purpose and construction methods have sparked countless theories and debates among historians and archaeologists. The greatest mystery about this entire structure is that each stone weighs several tons, which makes it impossible for even 10 or 20 very strong men to lift and stack on top of each other. According to researchers, this is just 25% of the original monument. Without modern-day cranes and equipment, this is just a work of magic, or maybe not. But aside from its construction, another question sparks quite the interest. Why was it even made? To answer that, some scientists believe it's just an ancient astronomical observatory or a religious site. While some believe this isn't even the work of man, but rather something extraterrestrial. Stonehenge is also surrounded by folklore and myths suggesting the stones were brought from Ireland by giants or a wizard named Merlin, a major character from the Arthurian legend. Number 3. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is one of the most tempting and picturesque destinations in the entire world. However, aside from being an escape site where people want to relax, it also has an ancient mystery surrounding it. This Inca citadel, nestled in the Andes Mountains of Peru, is believed to have been constructed in the mid-15th century under the reign of Pachacuti. According to historical scholars, the site must have been a royal estate or possibly a religious sanctuary. The estate remained occupied from around 1475 until it was finally abandoned in the 16th century, thanks to the Spanish conquest. Spanish conquistadors, who invaded the Inca civilization in the 16th century, never came across the site. Since then, except for the local people, nobody knew about its existence until, in 1911, American historian Hiram Bingham rediscovered the site and brought it massive global attention. The engineering of this entire structure looks modern and skilled, which is quite interesting considering the time when it was made. Number 4. Ayers Rock This is Ayers Rock, better known as Uluru. It's a massive sandstone monolith located in the heart of the Northern Territory of Australia. The site is extremely stunning, especially when the sun is setting, which makes its natural reddish color look more vibrant and aesthetic. Aboriginal Australian groups, or just Anangu people, believe that Uluru was formed during the Dreamtime, a foundational period in their culture when ancestral beings formed the landscape. In this hostile plain, crushed by the heat in summer and swept by ice-cold winds in winter, the structure is quite intriguing among the researchers mainly because each feature has a story to tell, leading to ancient people who once lived here and used it as a spiritual and religious site. In fact, Uluru Katachuta National Park has over 40 sacred sites, each associated 
With various Dreamtime stories, Uluru is estimated to be around 500 million years old, making it one of the oldest rock formations in the world. It is a natural wonder that makes scientists scratch their heads trying to figure out how a monolith of this size withstood erosion over millennia. Number 5. Mount Sinai One of the most pivotal places in religious texts, whether it's Islam, Christianity, or even Judaism, is Mount Sinai in Egypt. It's considered the same mountain where Moses received the Ten Commandments from God, making it an extremely important place if it's that place. This is a 16th century manuscript of that text. This is one of your new books. And then it's filled with illustrations. In Judaism, the mountain is the place where Moses received not only the Ten Commandments, but also the Torah from God. Christianity, on the other hand, believes in the first part only. In Islamic texts, the mountain has a much more extensive description. In fact, it is referred to as Jabal Musa, meaning Mountain of Moses, which Moses used to climb to talk to the God Allah himself and seek guidance from him. Number six, Sedona. Sedona is located in Arizona and is significantly popular in the spiritual community because many believe that this site has some special powers. Sedona is considered to radiate healing, transformation, and mystical energy, which is why it is often referred to as a vortex site. Now, why call it a vortex? Sedona is surrounded by mega rocky structures, and among them are some specific centers specified by spiritual people who believe that these centers are packed with energy. So that's why they're called a vortex, where people meditate and supposedly seek personal transformation. Number seven, the Black Boxes of Saqqara. The Black Boxes of Saqqara, more formally known as the Serapium Sarcophagi, are one of the unexplained parts of Egyptian history, along with pyramids. These boxes are a series of massive granite coffins that can be found in the Serapium of Saqqara, an ancient burial site in Egypt. It's believed that they were built in the 19th dynasty as burial places for the sacred bulls of the Apis cult. The cult worshipped the bulls because they believed them to be the manifestation of the god Ptah. Once they were sacrificed, they were buried in these sites, as they would become immortal after death. The site was rediscovered in 1850 by French archaeologist Auguste Mariette. He unearthed two undisturbed Apis burials and several precious artifacts buried alongside them. The physical characteristics of the Serapium sarcophagi are a mystery as they were built from solid granite and weighed between 70 and 100 tons each. Including the name of the reigning king, information about the presiding priests, and also in some cases, a description of how the sarcophagus was made and how it was transported into the vault. More intriguingly, the dimensions and angles of the coffins were so precise that it's nearly impossible for modern technology to recreate such a thing. The question of how they transported such heavy material to the site is just as mysterious as the rest of the questions. Number eight, the Serpent Mound. The Serpent Mound in Adams County, Ohio, is full of mysteries regarding its origins. It's considered to be one of the most famous earthworks in North America because its shape is similar to a gigantic serpentine. The structure is not natural, but rather believed to have been constructed around 1000 CE. But there's no solid proof of which civilization built it or what the motive behind it was. The mound was first documented in the 19th century, and since then, it has been studied by archaeologists worldwide. Have constructed a massive earthwork that like the geoglyphs and lines in Nazca. The mound itself is approximately 1,348 feet long and features a continuous series of coils that resemble a serpent. It even has a head similar to a large oval shape. To this day, the purpose behind building the serpent mound remains unclear, and it probably remains like that for the years to come. Number nine, the Nazca Lines. The Nazca Lines are colossal lines that are known to cover a widespread area. If seen from above via a helicopter, they resemble animal patterns. These lines are most probably built by the ancient civilization that thrived on the site at some point. What are all these dead sea creatures doing, 
cemented onto altars nearly 4,000 feet above sea level. But why would they do so? Some theories suggest that these patterns help the people keep track of water resources that lie beneath them. On the other hand, some conspiracy theorists believe that aliens make them and have a much more extraterrestrial significance. So, what are these lines? Why were they built? Did this ancient civilization use them to communicate with aliens? A ton of questions left unanswered. Number 10. Katsuki Pillar The Katsuki Pillar is a remarkable, otherworldly monolith that towers to a great length and overlooks the village of Katsuki in western Georgia. The overall length of the structure is around 130 feet or 40 meters. The site holds great historical and spiritual importance as it's been used for religious purposes since at least the 5th or 6th century. Katsuki Pillar is a natural limestone rock that extends out from the landscape below. At the summit, there's even a church dedicated to Maximus the Confessor. Along with the building, there are hermit cells and a crypt, making you wonder how they were able to build it so high up. The first modern ascent of the pillar was accomplished by mountaineer Alexander Japaritza in 1944, which sparked worldwide interest in learning more about its historical significance. The pillar is often referred to as the pillar of life and symbolizes the true cross, along with local Christian legends. Number 11, the Moai statues. The Moai statues are one of the most iconic statues that were carved by the Rapa Nui people between 1250 and 1500 CE on Easter Island. These statues are 33 feet tall, but many people thought they were much smaller because they didn't know that a great portion of these stone figures were buried beneath the ground. Now, the most intriguing part is their weight. Each one weighs up to 86 tons, which makes it impossible to lift them around and put them in their places. So, how did this ancient civilization pull it off? Well, according to researchers, these statues were possibly carved from volcanic tuff at the quarry of Rano Raraku and later transported through various techniques of dragging, such as walking or using rollers and sledges. Either way, it's still a massive structure that weighs a lot, so if it is actually possible, I'll let you decide. Number 12. Yonaguni Monument The Yonaguni Monument is an underwater rock formation located off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan's Ryukyu Islands. The structure was first discovered in the mid-1980s by a local diver named Kihachiro Arataki. Kihachiro was just exploring the waters to get a closer look at the hammerhead sharks, but during his quest, he came across unusual formations on the seabed. When he reached the surface and told others about it, geologists and archaeologists conducted a detailed investigation leading to the monument's discovery. The monument measures approximately 100 meters long and about 60 meters wide, and to reach it, you must travel 25 meters below the surface. Researchers are divided on this find. Some believe it was a remnant of a lost civilization 10,000 years ago. Some even suggest that this monument is actually the mythical continent of Mu, but some don't consider it a monument, but rather a naturally formed geological structure. Number 13. Newgrange Newgrange is a prehistoric monument located in County Meath, Ireland. It was supposedly built around 3200 BCE, making it much older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Giza. The overall structure of the monument is quite a sphere, measuring approximately 85 meters in diameter and about 13 meters in height. Archaeologists uncovered an amazing secret that shed new light on this ancient structure. The new range sits on one acre of land and features a 19-meter-long passageway that leads to the central chamber, which is the center of the structure. The engineering behind this structure is quite impressive, considering that it has an illuminating mechanism and a corbelled roof, which makes it quite stable. The purpose of new range is believed to serve as a burial site, as archaeologists discovered burnt and unburnt human remains. Number 14. Derinkuyu Underground City Derinkuyu Underground City is an ancient multi-level underground city located in the Cappadocia region of Turkey. Derinkuyu was first discovered in 1963 when a local man renovating his home 
stumbled upon a hidden passageway. As he entered it, he was left in awe, as it wasn't an old basement or bunker, but rather an entire city. More interestingly, the Daring Kuyu extends approximately 85 meters deep and features 18 levels, which could easily accommodate over 20,000 people. It had access to a vast amount of livestock, over 15,000 ventilation shafts, areas for different daily activities, and even chapels and churches for religious activities. Moreover, the entire city could easily be sealed off from the side with large rolling stone doors, making it an effective way to survive an attack. Number 15. Puma Punku Like the Stonehenge, another strange archaeological site near Tiwanaku in western Bolivia is known as Puma Punku. The structures showcase intricate masonry designs, which are believed to be at least 15,000 years old, indicating they were built around AD 536 to 600. By examining the structures and what he believed were their original alignment with the stars, some of the stones are as high as 26 feet in length, and the level of precision with which these stones were cut is remarkable. Further, the site features several stone gateways with walls made from andesite, which is a very hard and heavy volcanic rock. Number 16. Borobudur Temple Check out this temple in central Java. The Borobudur Temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. The temple was constructed back in 800 and 825 CE during the reign of the Shailendra dynasty. It serves as a monument to the Buddha and showcases architecture similar to that of Javanese Buddhists. It was abandoned in the 14th century as Islam was rapidly spreading in Java and eventually it was forgotten until its rediscovery in the 19th century. The temple is 35 meters tall and features nine platforms constructed from different materials. Whoever designed it put in all their efforts to add crucial Buddhist details to the architecture, making it a wonderful yet mysterious place to visit. Number 17. Great Sphinx of Giza The Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the most iconic structures in the entire world. Like the pyramids, this structure is renowned for its monumental size and enigmatic presence. It's believed the Sphinx was built in 2575 C, 2465 BCE, during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom, when Pharaoh Khafre still ruled Egypt. The entire structure is carved from limestone with great precision without a single inconsistency, thanks to which even after so many years, these structures still stand as they did then. Now you may ask, why a sphinx? Well, it's believed that it was considered to be a guardian figure associated with the nearby pyramids. Number 18. Longyu Caves In 1992, a discovery was made in Longyu County, Zhejiang province of China, which revealed a remarkable group of ancient man-made caverns, which were later named the Longyu Caves. Two local farmers made the discovery by accident. They drained several ponds in the area and uncovered five large caverns, which led to the discovery of a total of 24 caves. These artificial caves are believed to have been built over 2,000 years ago, as evidenced by the artifacts, such as clay pots found within them. Despite being so massive and intricate, no historical text ever mentions their existence, which is why no one has a proper explanation of why they were constructed and left abandoned. These caves cover an area of approximately 30,000 square meters and include massive chambers adorned with skillful carvings. Moreover, they boast remarkable engineering techniques, which seem to be even better than modern-day techniques. Number 19. Moray Terraces The Moray Terraces is yet another archaeological site in Peru, believed to have been constructed by the Incas between the 12th and 14th centuries. The site features circular terraces, which descend into the ground, creating a mysterious structure when looked at from a distance. The true motive behind the building is unclear, but due to its ability to microclimate, scientists believe that it may have been used for agricultural research. This structure gives us a glimpse of the advanced thinking of the ancient Inca civilization, which created so many ingenious structures during its time on Earth. Number 20. Sacsayhuaman Sacsayhuaman is another mysterious site on a hilltop overlooking Cusco, Peru. It's believed the structure once served as an Inca fortress in the 15th century, during the reign of Pachacuti 
Inca Yupanqui. It is intriguing that all the massive stone walls were built without mortar. Instead, each stone was cut very precisely to perfectly fit together, creating a stable structure. The fortress is considered to have served as both a defensive and ceremonial site for the Inca civilization, making it quite an interesting archaeological destination. Number 21. Skara Bray. Skara Bray is a well-preserved Neolithic village located on the west coast of mainland Orkney in Scotland. The site is believed to have been in existence since around 3180 2500 BCE. The Skara Bray boasts 10 houses completely made of stone, containing household furniture, such as stone beds. The people who thrived in the village were highly skilled and primitive, as can be seen by their sewer system, which drains all the waste. The village was rediscovered in 1850, and since then, it has remained a crucial part of the archaeological society. Number 22. Gobekli Tepe. In southeastern Turkey, Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological site believed to date back to 9600 BCE, which is much older than most of the sites we've discussed before. The site was first discovered in the 1990, when archaeologists found T-shaped limestone pillars arranged in circular enclosures, suggesting that it might be a monumental structure. Each pillar stood 18 feet tall and weighed up to 10 tons, making them quite massive and heavy. Number 23. Chichen Itza. Have you ever heard of Chichen Itza? It's a prominent archaeological site located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, known for its significant role in the Maya civilization. It was a city at its peak in all aspects, from political to religious, between 800 and 1200 CE. Although it was once a massive center of attention, today it's only a tourist attraction. The site features notable structures, including the El Castillo, aka the Temple of Kukulkan, which is shaped like the Egyptian pyramids and has similar alignments with only minor differences in architectural design. Number 24. The Temple of Jupiter Baal. The Roman Empire has a very vast history, which is mainly depicted through the lost structures that they built thousands of years ago. If you travel to Lebanon, specifically Baalbek, you'll be welcomed by the colossal Roman structure known as the Temple of Jupiter, which was a complex dedicated to the god Jupiter Heliopolitanus. Number 25. The Great Wall of China. In the entire world, both in the past and the future, there has never been, or probably will never be, a man-made structure that challenges the size of the Great Wall of China. It's one of the most remarkable feats of engineering in human history, stretching over 13,000 miles across northern China. Historians believe the construction of the wall first began in the 7th century BCE to create a safe path for traveling and to protect against invasions from northern nomadic tribes. Number 26. The Winchester Mystery House. The Winchester Mystery House is one of the most mysterious properties on the planet, mainly because of its backstory. The mansion is located in San Jose, California, and it was built by Sarah Winchester, the widow of the world's famous Winchester Repeating Arms Company owner. Sarah's both husband and infant daughter passed away. She was very traumatized and was later led to believe that she was haunted by ghosts of those who were killed by Winchester rifle. To please these ghosts, she began the construction of Winchester Mystery House in 1886, and according to her, if the construction was completed, she would die. That's why she never let it end, and the construction lasted for decades until Sarah finally died in 1922. Today, the mansion has 160 rooms, 2,000 doors, and 47 staircases, many of which lead nowhere. Some believe the ghosts that haunted Sarah, along with the ghost of Sarah herself, still live in this mansion. Number 27. Rock-cut buildings of Petra. The rock-cut buildings of Petra feature an architectural style you can never find anywhere else. This city is the only place where you can feel like Indiana Jones. It's believed to have been built by the Nabataeans, who inhabited this ancient city in modern-day Jordan over 2,000 years ago. These structures are skillfully carved into the massive mountain, showcasing the intricate and complex procedure it must have taken to build them. It's a truly remarkable site filled with mystery and archaeological significance. Number 28. Wakra Pukara. Wakra Pukara 
is another intriguing archaeological site in the Cusco region of Peru. The site is known for its breathtaking views, along with the 4th I 300 meter tall ancient fortress, which is quite hard to miss. The structure features two massive horn-like formations, which gives it its name, the Horned Fortress. The fortress was built by the Inca civilization, which was an expert in incorporating the natural formations of the surroundings into its architectural design. This fortress is a living example. The site was used for ritual and ceremonial purposes, and it was dedicated to the god Ilatechi Pachacamac Wiracocha, making it quite sacred for the ancient civilization. Number 29. The Ring of Brodgar The Ring of Brodgar is a mysterious site in Orkney, Scotland, dating back to 2500 and 2000 BCE. The site features a series of about 60 massive rocks lined up in a circular shape with a diameter of 104 meters. Due to its perfect circular layout, it has become the most impressive stone circle in Britain. Despite being such an impressive structure, nobody really knows the actual purpose behind building it. Number 30. Al-Aqsa Mosque Besides Makkah and Medina, the most holiest place in Islam is undoubtedly the Masjid Al-Aqsa, which is located in the old city of Jerusalem, Palestine. If you think this mosque with the golden top is Masjid Al-Aqsa, you're wrong. In fact, this is the actual Aqsa Mosque. The mosque was built 40 years after the Kaaba in Mecca, and it's also where Prophet Muhammad was transported during the Isra and Mi'raj. To make its historical significance more interesting, the religious texts even suggest that the construction of Masjid al-Aqsa involved a unique collaboration between humans and jinn, particularly during the time of Prophet Sulaiman, as he had been given the authority on all beings, including the jinns, by God. To further support this claim, each stone used in the mosque's construction is so massive that it's logically impossible for a human to lift. So, how was it built? It's a truly remarkable place, packed with archaeological knowledge. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and press the bell icon so you won't miss out on new content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.